Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. We're gonna take a look at all the major currencies to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And of course, do not forget to hit the like button. So as usual, we'll start with the Dixie. This time we are on the monthly time frame because we have a new month, a new year. Happy new year to all of you. I hope that 2021 going to be a much better year for everyone. While trading wise, it's been a great uh, year for me, but uh, otherwise it was not a good year at all. So uh, that's why we are on the monthly time frame on the Dixie to check what been going on uh, with the dollar lately. And as you see, December was another bearish month where we broke uh, the support that we've been watching closely and uh, from here on there is nothing on the way until the dollar reach uh, this area down here at around the 88.50 level this level uh, is um, what uh, i think the market objective is to uh, reach and tag this area down here now on the monthly especially after this um, lower high we had here uh, we we've got this little spike uh, during the um, the start of the corona pandemic when uh, in March when things start getting uh, crazy so we've got this spike to then see the market failing totally and continuing to the downside so we have a major lower high and at least we're gonna tag this level down here after that we're still on the monthly time frame if we break that area then we're looking for even deeper continuation on the dollar but for now, and since we are going to do these videos each week, let's keep it one week at a time. So for next week, um, the main idea is still the same. I think uh, the dollar might continue to um, uh, toward this area down here. It is still bearish on the weekly. The last week of the month was not a, a, a strong bearish week because the market did reject back and close uh, a little bit higher, especially on uh, Friday there was. Uh, could be a little bit of a profit taking or something like that but all in all on the daily time frame as well we're still in a bearish market we do have a possible double bottom here we might see a little bit of a correction and if we check the four hour time frame we see that uh, we had this uh, little bounce here as i said this still could be just profit taking the first level to watch is the, this 19.15 uh, area for a potential continuation to the downside or if this uh, dollar to uh, make a deeper correction and uh, pull up even more than the next uh, major uh, market resistance going to be at around last month monthly s1 at around these areas okay that's it for the dixie for now uh, we check gold also let's take a look on the monthly time frame and we see that on the month uh, sorry uh, we are on the weekly here on the monthly time frame we've got a beautiful uh, december as usual december most of the time is bullish on uh, gold if you look at seasonal chart we're gonna see that december most of the time gonna be bullish so we've got a nice bullish engulfing candle here that engulfed totally the previous body uh, the previous month's uh, candles body checking the weekly we see that we are still inside this uh, little bit uh, of a bullish flag or a bit of a correction after a very strong push to the upside so um, for more upside on gold which is now testing a really interesting area where we have the top of the channel on the daily we've got a retest here that failed to break higher and now we are testing again so if gold to continue higher they need to break above this uh, previous high and outside of the channel for that continuation that is a possibility for the upcoming weeks but keep following this little trend line now uh, that we have here on the way up that is uh, something to have uh, an eye at on um, on the upcoming uh, days and weeks and as i said as far as this uh, is above this uh, bullish trend line and if we see a break out here especially above these previous highs we might see continuation on uh, gold to the upside and to at least tag this uh, previous high. So for now it is bullish, but 
if they break and uh, fail to break higher and break the bearish trend line we might start seeing a little bit of a rotation back to the downside oil still bullish checking the monthly on oil as well you see that after uh, this strong impulse we had a little bit of a correction and another breakout above previous highs so oil looking strong for now uh, and uh, it is testing a level of interest which is at around the 50 um, uh, the 50 dollar area up here looking left this level um, could be a level of interest and uh, the 50 gonna be a, a an important psychological level if broken then next target gonna be this uh, previous high here at around the 55 area but for now uh, seems like oil is a little bit stuck here inside this little range to then go inside the range and start going sideways end of the year uh, not much liquidity and uh, we do have next week the OPEC uh, meetings uh, starting on Monday so keep an eye on that that could give you some headlines that make uh, uh, made the oil move in my opinion we should have um, this range to watch uh, for next week sell 50 uh, buy down here at around 46 until until we have uh, some kind of a breakout either to the downside or a breakout to the upside and continuation on this market also keep uh, keep an eye on the stocks because if the stocks to start moving to the downside or make some kind of a correction lower i think oil will follow as well EURUSD monthly time frame we see that um, we have also here a nice higher low after this impulse to the upside we've got this whole deep correction and then we started moving higher so we have a nice higher low here and uh, the market is now testing a level of interest looking left this area here and of course the market objective could be to tag these previous highs at least on the euro usd so monthly time frame we start a nice bullish move weekly we had a nice impulse a correction and a break to the outside and as you see we are testing this whole area of interest here now if the the price get got accepted in the inside this area i think we might see that continuation to tag these previous highs so uh, it is bullish we should be looking to buy the dips on uh, urusd it is a little bit of a slowing down right now as you see here we, we start having some kind of a wedge or inside this channel and we do have a bearish divergence on the rsi the last day of the month was uh, or of the trading year as well was a bearish one but still keep in mind that this could be profit taking uh, traders taking out uh, some positions and uh, going safe for the new year so um, be careful on that it should not be a, a bearish signal yet but uh, if this would be a bearish signal and a reversal to start i want to see this area to be broken to then start look for a deeper correction toward these levels down here that is uh, uh, and my level of interest uh, the 1.19 on the euro usd 1.19 correction toward that area could be a level of interest to look for buys so if we go back to the daily and talk about that level as you see here since we uh, broke above it the 1.19 area there was no real retest yet on the daily time frame so uh, a failure to make new highs here next week if something like this happen and we break the neckline then we might start seeing this little bit of a correction to the downside is it possible to short this market well yes it is but you need to be careful because you are trading um, uh, against the trend but it is possible that you see a correction like that and then if the market do that at the 1.19 that is the level i'm really interested to start looking to buy and maybe add on even more on the way up because that could signal the con bigger continuation move to the upside so for now we are looking at the bullish market that did reach a level of interest potential correction might start here to then look for continuation okay so short term we might see a little bit of a downside sterling let's check the monthly time frame on that as well the sterling did make a nice uh, higher low here we do have a breakout above previous highs we broke the neckline so this 
um, uh, weird double bottom or head and shoulder or whatever you want to talk uh, to to call it uh, is uh, now uh, broken that neckline is broken on the monthly which is a big deal which means we might keep seeing these uh, continuations to the upside happening toward this previous high that is my anticipation 1.43 could be the next level of interest for the bulls going down to the weekly time frame we see also that we are in a bullish trend on the weekly we broke higher <clears throat> and we might see continuation going down to the daily same scenario so we are still looking to buy the dips on these markets the big question is where that should be as you see here inside this range it's been very very choppy but now since the price left that range broke and closed above it it uh, might start giving us a little bit of um, a healthier trend and in my opinion any retest toward these areas especially if we get bounced back down toward this level i'm interested to look for that uh, possible continuation uh, to the upside on the sterling yeah we are still in a bullish trend the 200 uh, 200 moving average on the four hour is pointing to the upside on the daily the 200 moving average just start to point to the upside as well so pretty interesting to see if we're gonna see that continuation move next week sterling jappy sit uh, still at this uh, 103 uh, major support level uh, no break below that level yet checking the monthly time frame we see that it being crawling slowly slowly to the downside small bodied candles um and usually these these kind of moves when you start seeing it going like this next step could be to the upside the big question are we gonna see a retest of the uh, 100 area before it take off or not as for now it is still a little bit uh, bearish market checking the weekly also we are looking at the bearish market that is crawling slowly to the downside and once again as far as this 103 is holding it is still a buy level for a move back up uh, toward 105 but if 103 got broken on the daily time frame i think the next major level gonna be the 100 to the downside usd chief also still bearish checking the monthly time frame we see that uh, we broke uh, below previous uh, major swing and the next uh, objective uh, could be a retest of uh, this area down here yeah as you uh, may see this swing low down here could be a level of interest for uh, the bears to tag these levels so that was um, a clear break on the monthly checking the weekly we are uh, looking at a break below previous structure here as well and uh, we should keep selling the rally so with uh, the next level of interest in my opinion a retest toward this broken structure would be very interesting to see if there is any bearish evidence to then take a short to the downside on this market usd cad check the monthly time frame and you will see that we have a key structure uh, break on the monthly we also have a close below this swing low down here and there is not much on the way until we start looking at these levels so also bearish uh, on the monthly bearish on the weekly with a break retest and potential continuation to come daily time frame uh, for more downside they need to break below this level if that would be the case we are looking for a more downside on this uh, on this market it is a bearish and clearly bearish structure on the daily as you see here with lower lows and lower highs and i'm looking for a potential continuation if this previous low got uh, broken we should be looking to continue that move to the downside uh, next week or uh, to the upcoming weeks Aussie USD still uh, bullish checking the weekly uh, the monthly time frame we see that after this uh, strong impulse to the upside we've got two months correction and then a break out above previous highs so we just started a nicely uh, long-term uh, trend with the monthly chart with this impulse breaking above previous highs giving you a higher low and now a higher high that broke above previous highs 
and looking on the chart we see that there is not much trouble on the way until we reach this previous highs now before we reach that where the market is testing right now if we look further left we see that previously we had a little bit of a trouble of uh, at this area so we might see short-term corrections to the downside on the lower time frames if we check the daily we saw that uh, on Friday when the market reached that level there was a little bit of a uh, selling pressure there could be profit taking as well so if this market to start making a little bit of a correction here it would not be abnormal at all it could still give you something like this move down and then you start looking for a continuational move so uh, 0.75 down here is a level of interest for uh, for me to look for a potential continuation to the upside on this market New Zealand USD same scenario monthly time frame we see that we had this nice impulse correction another break above previous highs many highs got broken here on the monthly which means we might see continuation to tag this high or this high here Keep in mind that the market is testing right now the 200 moving average on the monthly just got, just got tested and uh, checking the weekly time frame we still uh, bullish the big question is uh, is it the time for some kind of a correction back down before the continuation uh, move or not so we are bullish but the question is is it time for the correction or not because we are testing this nice level um, this nice uh, area here could um, start be a level of interest for the bears to defend daily time frame friday was a nice spike to the upside to then get a little bit of a rejection we do have bearish divergence so i am um, bullish but also i am expecting some potential correction back down i think a correction back down toward this broken level could be um, interesting to start look for bullish evidence and a continuation uh, move keep in mind that the price is far away from the 200 moving average on the daily and uh, when that happened most of the time you start seeing a little bit of a return back to the mean before the market uh, continues to the upside so keep that in mind we are bullish but we also could expect a little bit of a short-term correction and on the lower time frame the first level of interest gonna be down here on the four hour time frame to see if this market to start making some correction to see if this level will hold if that would be the case we are looking for continuation otherwise if that would not hold i would check on the daily time frame for this area to be my level of interest for the upside move so uh, keep an eye on uh, the uh, 0.6770 area for a potential bullish continuation move and uh, that was it for uh, this week's video guys thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye